first, known as April Fool's Day. Now, here is a... April Fool, fool ya, fool ya, there ain't no picture. <laughs> oh! <laughs> May 12th, Mother's Day. Here is a sweet little mother patiently awaiting the return of her long lost son, whom she hasn't seen in 22 years. Listen, footsteps. He hasn't forgotten his dear old mother in all these years. What a joyous reunion this will be. Hello, Ma. Hello, son. Bye, Ma. Bye, son. Comrade Walter. One, act like every other member of the committee. Two, act often. Comrade Walter. One, act like every other member of the committee. Two, act often. Comrade Hurst. Doctors are so busy. Seems everybody is sick. Ah, there you are, my dear. And dum dum dum. dum. Uh, where does it hurt? I'm not sick either. Shh. I must insist upon quiet. Oh. This man is trying to get some rest. That's, That's the patient. patient. That's the. Oh, 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 well, I'm not a mind reader, you know. I can't diagnose when you don't tell the doctor everything. He got hit on the head with a bottle. A bottle? A bottle? Oh, Mom. Oh, Mom. You, you shouldn't hit him with a bottle. A rolling pin, yes, maybe, but not a bottle. Can you hear me, Doctor? Oh, yes. Yeah, very clearly. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now, hear this. Get lost! <laughs> Mr. Willoughby? Huh? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> How do you do? I'm, uh, you remember me, I'm Jack Benny. You said you wanted to see me. Oh, yes! <laughs> now, I hate to bother an artist of your caliber, mm -hmm. but you know, something strange has happened since you've been broadcasting for a... Oh, very strange. <laughs> very strange? What's that? We've been losing money. <laughs> losing money? I can't understand that. My shows have been very... Oh, I'm not arguing. Oh, no! Your shows have been just fine. But you know, we think it'll help if you stick to comedy and let somebody else do the commercials. Well, I I thought I did the commercials very, very well. Well, all I know is that we've been selling corsets for 15 years, and this is the first time the company is feeling the pinch. <laughs> feeling the pinch. <laughs> Isn't that you? <laughs> Move to the back of the bus, please. Excuse me. Come on, folks. Move to the back of the bus. Oh, pardon me. All the way back. Plenty of seats in the back. Uh, I beg your pardon. All aboard! <laughs> well, that does it. Bluer than, bluer than, bluer than, blue. Get as much applause as we 
city. The wildest, most ferocious town in the entire West. At least it was until I cleaned it up. You, Commander? I thought Wyatt Earp. Nonsense. Wyatt couldn't handle it, so he called upon me. When I arrived in Dodge City, lead was flying everywhere. The Dalton boys were holding up the bank. The James boys were shooting up the cactus cafeteria. And Billy the Kid was shooting anything that moved. I fired a shot over their heads to get their attention, don't you know? you blighters, clear out! I've come to clean up Dodge City. <laughs> they all lined up in the street. Twenty of the roughest, toughest guns in the West. And you had only five bullets? Good heavens, Commander, what did you do? My keen eyesight spotted a water tower at the end of the street. With deadly aim, I shot a large hole in it. Out and washed those desperados straight out of town. And that's how I cleaned up Dodge. Splashing, Commander. Quite. You need a man who knows something about base now. Earl! Earl, Earl Hill, I'll be doggone! Ed! Ed McLean! Well, I'm John Brown of an eight old Ed yeah. McLean. I'm sorry, Ed. That's all right, Ed. You're looking fine. You mean you two know each other? Know each other, Lord, yes. We worked on the same railroad. <laughs> we sure got around a lot together, didn't we, Earl? Yes. Earl here was the only man to break a train out of San Francisco after the earthquake. Here are your cigars, Mr. McLean. Well, now, thank you kindly, partner. Oh, well, thank you, Ed. You know, this young man here is a friend of yours. He stuck up for you, real firm. Yes, and he's going to make a railroad man, too, Ed. Earl, let's go on up to my room where we can talk better. Come here, partner. Tell you what I want you to do. Take these two wagon wheels, see, and go over and get, get Mr. Hill a clean shirt and a pair of socks and bring him right up to my room. What's my suite number? Uh, 214, Mr. McLean. 214 on the double. Well... Let's go. We got a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. 